Dr. Wood, author of the book, Miracles and Minutes. Tonight's subject matter is dealing with difficult people, dealing with impulsiveness, your, our own, to, I feel like I need to do something, to react, to get yourself under control, and then how to have empathy for others who are treating you poorly and not personalize, internalize it. So first, let's start out with my goal as a person is almost Rudyard Kipling's poem, If. Like you're, it's almost like you're unshakable. Like no matter what someone's doing, I'm not reacting to what they're doing. I'm not saying I'm there yet. <laughs> what I'm saying is like that's my goal is to aspire to be something like that. No matter what's happening around me, I'm that mountain. I have my head under control. I can think clearly. I'm not reacting to other people. And you'll notice all your life people are trying to get you off who you are your way of being, uh, at your emotions, at your feelings, and picking at you, okay? It's just, it's just the human condition. So <clears throat> let's talk about impulsiveness. So <clears throat> quite often when someone does something to us and treats us poorly, <clears throat> I'm not saying we should not throw the flag. Uh, and then, you you know, you're going to, I can't believe you said that to me. Like, whoa, wait a minute. Or, or someone's very aggressive towards you. Okay, so first of all, you can see it, first of all, is not done to you. It's more reflection of them. And it's, it, it's easier said than done. It always is. So let's get into their world and to see what they're thinking about. So the statement in therapy goes is hurt people hurt people. So the people are the meanest, the most aggressive, the nastiest ones, Deep underneath is a person who's deeply wounded, deeply hurt, and feels like the world did something to them. And now they're angry and bitter and spiteful and want to take that out. They need to discharge the hurt. And they do that, sadly, on others. It's actually a battle they're fighting in their own head that they don't know how to process the hurt. They haven't healed from this hurt. Now, I'm not saying you're a doormat and that someone should uh, do this to you, and you throw the flag and say, hey, call the foul uh, in love. Like, you need to get your, you first of all, recognize it's not being done to you, okay? And it's going to take a little while for you to start understanding that concept. You can start to look at your thinking like, holy shit, I can't, and go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I remember what Dr. Wood said, and they're not really doing it to me. Um, it's something's going on in their space. So I don't have to take it personally. It means nothing about me, and it's what's going on in their head. Okay. But still, it doesn't mean that they're allowed to just, you know, break shit in your house, throw stuff, and, you know, act, act ignorant. So you call it ignorance, and you call it as it is. So after that, now, <clears throat> that's part of it. Now, now what? If this was an intimate relationship that you had with someone, all of a sudden now it's going bad, you need to put up a boundary line. And a boundary line means you're not going to give them free access to your space to just come in here and just keep doing it. For some people who are very ignorant and very hurtful and very aggressive, you're going to need to put up walls. Uh, this person's not allowed into your life. Now, when...